Yo, man, this is Zach Scott here. Another quick mega drunk tutorial. Holy shit, I'm drunk tonight. So I'm going to be drinking a little bit of a uh, Zosa root tea. It's a uh, tea made from an African root that gives you crazy dreams. And uh, I like to drink it because it's uh, especially appropriate tonight because of the dream nature of what I'm going to tell you about. But, you know, it gives you insane dreams, and that's fun, too. Um, lucid dreaming, check it out. It's the best. Anyway, last night I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm sleeping, you know, it's, you know, one o'clock at night, and I'm thinking to myself uh, about this dream I'm having, you know, I'm, I'm asleep totally, and I'm like, uh, I'm in control of the dream, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is a dream, I'm walking around, there's all this crazy shit, and I look, and holy shit, my name is written on this wall in pure light, and I'm like, what? And it's like, I turn around, and there's this dude at the projector, and he's got this Daft Punk helmet on, and he's projecting my name onto the wall in light and I'm like what is that and it's my name and then I wake up and I'm like holy shit let's do this in source filmmaker so I wake up it's like one o'clock at night get on my computer boom ah so I figure this out so I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how to do light projections using any texture you want in source filmmaker so uh, this is using the simple gobo texture lighting system that uh, valve has set up I have no fucking clue what gobo texture means but it's fun and whatever so if you grab your light uh, I think it's this guy let's see whichever one's blue so uh, I think I did this all last night, so I'm not entirely clear on what it was I did. Yeah, this guy. So this first light. So he's blue. So I'm going to show this light in uh, the element viewer here real quick. Let's grab this light. Let's show him. And it has this texture field, which I found last night in a blind stupor. Let me drink some tea. Well, you soak all this in and think about what you're going to project on your walls. But if you check this out, we can open this guy up. And we can just grab whatever the fuck texture we want. In this case, I've got this Zachariah texture that I made, because that's my name. And, uh, you know, I figured I'd be very uncreative in what I blasted on the wall. Um, Valve has some other shit you can put up on the walls. Uh, like, you can grab anything. Like a warning sign, detail noise, flashlight texture. Let's grab, um... Let's grab warning sign because I know it won't work. So first thing you'll do is you'll take a texture, you'll throw it up in VTF edit, and you'll make it. And it'll be cool, except, oh god, where am I? It'll be cool, except it will project in all directions and be shitty, as I will demonstrate whenever I can grab my camera. Here we go. Yeah, as I will demonstrate here. So you can see we have our restricted non-entry blah 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 bullshit but it's projected over and over and over again until the end of the light so it's right here 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 and so on and so forth so i just very quickly last night reverse engineered how valve does this so i'll show you exactly the materials you need to set up in order to make your texture work so i have zachariah card that's my name and I'm gonna grab the global radial texture and if you want to find that valve made it super easy you just right click on the texture go to show overlay and material editor and if this were a default light it would jump straight to gobo texture but uh, since I edited it it'll jump straight to um, Zachariah card but basically look at gobo radial gobo radial is your default it'll give you all the shit you want um, so I'm gonna open that up, check out how they did it. So I noticed last night they set clamp S and clamp T, which are the main things that aren't set on a default material. So if you grab your uh, Photoshop, pull it open, export your TGA, do all that fancy shit, uh, you'll throw this out, do a save as, blah, 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 TGA, yeah, save that, whatever, who cares, yep. Throw that down, whatever pixels you want. Grab Gobo Texture, import that fucking TGA. Let's see, where is it at? Huh, Z, 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 Zachariah. All right, cool. Let's just make this, yeah, all these defaults are fine. Who cares? Um, all you really want to care about is clamp S, clamp T, and I think it's a clamp all. Just check those. If you don't check those, your texture will repeat into infinity in all directions um, which sucks but if you check those it'll only project this frame once and it won't tile it in any direction at all and what you'll end up with is the nice sweet 
my name or yours projected as this ZA. Where is it? I'm looking. I still don't see it. C. Zachariah card. Projected as this badass Zachariah card, which you can, you know, change the color of, you know, uh, do the width, make it red, make it green, make it ungreen, make it dark, make it negative dark, so it's projecting as a shadow, which is all sorts of fucking crazy. Um, and basically, I don't know. Uh, bypass titles, I guess. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna use this to not have to do any titles in After Effects or pr Premiere uh, and just project my titles as uh, text on walls. Um, and I think that'll be a cool aesthetic for my movie. Uh, but yeah, super simple. Make your own titles, throw them up into uh, VTF files. Make sure to check Clamp S and Clamp T. And then hook them up to your lights. You can do all sorts of crazy shit. It's awesome. Um, you can also use this for more detailed kind of shadowing. Uh, I think Valve has simply like Flashlight Tester uh, 2. That one's fun because that just projects this kind of. Let me put that back in a positive light. But that'll project this kind of pre built shadow um, if I make everything white. Yeah. That'll project kind of a pre-built shadow just as a texture on the material. I'm going to do some experimentation with that and see if I can come up with any cool solutions. But uh, it's, uh, it's really neat shit applying textures to your lights besides the default light texture. Um, so check it out. I bet you can get some cool effects with like a square texture or, uh, you know, slotted blinds, whatever. You can definitely use this as a trick to get to more detailed shadows you can see here that like it's just projecting the texture as a uh white and dark value here so um it doesn't matter that it's not actually filtering through any trees yet we still get this sweet kind of uh liney nice detailed shadow so check it out it's awesome uh have fun i look forward to seeing what you guys do with this maybe have some crazy dreams drink some crazy tea peace